What? Did people join before? Before it even said it was live? Wait, I can't tell if these are like leftover messages from last time. No, it says 509. It is 509. Wow. Well, you join fast. <laughs> so. Okay, well, so nothing too like terribly interesting today. I have just a couple things to unbox. I don't know. I like unboxing. Um, I like unboxing stuff on live streams because it's like a good time to answer questions and talk with chat and everything. I need a knife. So um, one of the things are is just well here I'll get to it later, but um, I'll just go ahead and open the box. Wow, there's already 63 people here. It's been 57 seconds. You can see Sebastian in the background. Um, I'm kind of locking him in the room so that he stays here. Because one of these products are for him, assuming it's in here. And I had to bribe him in here with his favorite drink. He loves Ensure for some reason. I don't know if that's healthy, but... <clears throat> so, let's see what you're talking about. What'd you get? Well, let's find out, because I can't remember the third thing. Oh yeah. So, first thing we've got, um, if you were in, if you were here like two live streams ago, um, I also did some feedings and unboxings and I got these filters for Franklin, <laughs> but they're the wrong size. So instead of buying new filters, or but, but instead of buying new filter cartridges, I bought a whole new filter. Um, one, because I didn't want to have to return them, uh, but also because I didn't, I thought Franklin's previous one was for like a 20 to 40 gallon, but it turns out it's for a 10 gallon. If you don't know who Franklin is, he's not in there right now, but he goes in that pool over there. Um, so I got these, so I can just set that up, not that interesting. And then oh, I'll go ahead and take it out. <clears throat> Might as well. Well, pythons can start in a 10 or 20 as a baby, and then adults, whoa, this is big. Adults can be in like a 20 to 40. Um, probably 40 plus, but different people I'd give different answers. Okay, this is huge compared to the other one. Hopefully it fits. I do not play Rust. I, do, I can talk about the eggs while I figure this out. <clears throat> um, I'm 17, so I don't exactly know what the issue is with the eggs. They're starting to turn like yellowish with a little bit of, with like some gray spots. I can show them in a few minutes. So it's concerning. My best guess is they were too dry to start. Like they didn't have any moisture or, um, here, let's look at Sylvester. They didn't have any, yeah, they, this is a very wild chat. <clears throat> uh, I'll get to eggs soon. Um, they didn't have any, I don't think they had enough moisture because it appears that they were there for a few days before I found them since I was gone for a week. So it could have been up to seven days. And so I think the issue is that there wasn't enough um, moisture to start, if that's what the problem is. I'm still not sure, though, because everything's set up right, uh, correctly right now. Hopefully the ball python update will be soon. Those videos take forever because, well, one, I have to basically tear everything down from their enclosure. I have to get all the supplies, uh, get everything in order, and then I record it all in one take, so the take might be an hour long. Um, if I'm able to do it without messing up too much, it might just be like a half hour, but usually it's about an hour worth of footage. And then I cut it down. One of the Sandbow one, how long is that one? I think it's 22 minutes. And that was only 30 minutes of footage. So they just take forever. But let's see, this section kept popped out. We'll figure that out in a minute. I'll go ahead and show you the other things. Uh, keep suggesting me products because Someone, I can't remember who it was, I can look, some uh, just random commenter said I should try out this thermostat. So here it is, I got it, <laughs> because um, since I'm using that one thermostat, I stole Monty's, well, he still needs a new name, I know. I keep saying Monty, but um, I stole the baby ball pythons for the eggs, and so now he needs a new one. So I thought I'd try a new brand instead of Zilla, I guess the other ones are, or Exo, wait, what are they? Yeah, there's Zilla. So this one's digital, which is nice. It has a lot more reviews. Um, 
Yeah, so I have three of the Zillow thermostats and now one of these. So I can do, s are, would you be interested in some comparisons? Um, yeah, I don't, well, I trust Zillow as a company more just because I haven't heard of Jumpstart. Um, it has a frog on it though. But I'm, yeah, I might do a comparison. Um, Price-wise, the other one is 19 to $22, depending on which one you get. And this one's $34, so quite a bit more, especially if you have a lot of enclosures. I do not have a garter snake. Um, I have a green and all, and it's dewlap is purple and pink. Could it be a morph? I don't know. You should try and take some pictures of it, because I don't think I've ever seen purple on a dewlap, but that's cool. <clears throat> so let's see. I've never looked at this before. It has a little metal probe. Same thing. I don't know. Not that interesting. This cord is huge, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Other than that, it looks about the same. Well, you can plug in one of the, if you're in the US, you have plugs like this, where there's like the thingy on the bottom where only some of those have it. <clears throat> um, I guess if it takes more power, it needs that. But I don't think the Zillow ones have that. Maybe they do. But I can do a video on that later, and I might set that up. <laughs> and the third thing is a hygiene kit for my cat. It comes with a, uh, an animal toothbrush and animal safe toothpaste along with, I didn't know that, a little finger toothbrush. So, turn you around. Sylvester's still right there. He doesn't know what's coming. So, we'll try and brush his teeth, because I think he had, like, I've never, some people say you should brush your cat's teeth on a, a usual basis, but he's like six years old and I've, never, I've brushed him like twice. <laughs> so, here, let me open this up. Would you like to go ahead and see me try and brush his teeth since he's right here? I'll read the instructions first, then. We need more. Yeah, I do need to do more herping videos. Um, so it says, home dental care is as important for your pet as it is for you. Uh, a program of oral hygiene and pr regular professional care helps maintain a healthy mouth by limiting plaque and tartar buildup. Uh, also, his breath is terrible, if you're wondering. I guess he didn't need that detail. Oh yeah, if you were here in person, you'd be able to smell that yawn. So I'm assuming this is safe. I'm not going to read the contents. Well, there's no actual directions. I guess all you do is put the toothpaste on and brush. And I'm assuming they don't need to, like, spit or wash their mouth out. Um, I do not have a brother. I have a sister, which you can find in old videos. <clears throat> um, it's kind of a usual thing for me to rename animals I rehome, and Monty's a pretty popular snake name. So, here, let's come over to Sylvester. So, <laughs> so here we've got toothpaste for dogs and cats. Poultry flavor. I don't. Oh God. It. It smells. Yeah. It smells like. No, he's not declawed. Show me your claws, boy. Um. Here, let me let him smell it. <clears throat> it smells kind of like raw fish. If, I mean, not raw fish, raw chicken. If the chicken had been like sweating a lot before it died or something. Uh-oh, he's going away. He's like, nope. Here, should I use little finger toothbrush? Or actual, I guess I should use little finger toothbrush. And, okay, he's gonna, whoops. Didn't turn around. Uh, he missed it, he was cleaning his special places. Okay, I'm putting on the toothpaste. I don't know how much to use, does it say? Directions, use a toothbrush. <laughs> That's it, just use a toothbrush. <laughs> Apply daily. Daily. Okay, so Bill, he's probably gonna kill me. Um, I can't read the chat right now, but... Oh. 
Oh yeah. Get it nice and clean. <laughs> nope. Well, he ate it, which I'm sure that's fine. Ew, it's all over his mouth. <laughs> Come here, Seth. I only got one tooth. I got it pretty well, though. Most people say you need to warm my cat up to it, or warm your cat up to it, like, take time and get them used to it. But we'll get to reptiles soon if, if that's what you want. Hey, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I at least want to get his other side. He doesn't like it, but he, he's just going to every door. Yeah, um, I don't know if you were here, but I'll get to the snake eggs, but it's sort of disappointing. There's still no guaranteed fail, but I'm just going to keep following around until he sits. I don't know how to do this. Ooh, oh yeah, oh yeah, scratch it. <laughs> this isn't working. I don't know how people do it. I'm gonna have to watch some tutorials. What kind of cat is that? I don't know, I guess a short hair tuxedo or something. Well, I got two teeth. I think that's pretty good. Now he's chewing on my Amazon box. <clears throat> well, He's eating it, so I imagine that helps a little, even though I can't, um, I don't know, I scrubbed the flack off pretty well, I think, on those first two. But okay, that's, that's one of the products I got, if you care about that. <clears throat> so, if you need some tooth, tooth cleaning supplies for your cat, you can get it on Amazon. I wonder if this is human safe. <laughs> Not that I want to try it. But... Mm. Um, yeah, so people, to anyone that's joined it, I sort of mentioned the eggs. Um, they're showing some gray and greenish spots, which isn't a good sign. They don't really smell yet, so there's still a chance. Um, here, we can talk about that next, since you're interested. Um... Oh, for animal use only. I am an animal, but... Okay, we'll put this away, <laughs> and I'll try that another time. You can see the toothpaste, poultry flavor. Nope, mm-mm, doesn't taste good. Doesn't taste like poultry. It actually tastes kind of like toothpaste. That's, okay. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, let's... We can go ahead and check out the eggs. Um, so, yeah, the other things I got, if you didn't see before, I ordered... Wait, let me compare the filters. Um, here's his Franklin. He's not in there. He's under the bed. Uh, I just replaced his water. So, I tore his last filter, which I mentioned... His last filter... Um, what's it called? Cartridge, I guess. So I had to order new ones, but I ordered the wrong size because I couldn't find the right one. But then I decided I would just get a whole new filter because he could use some extra. So I guess I can use both of them. Yeah, Olive's right here. She's hanging out. Uh, oh, oh, we woke her up. Sorry, Olive. <laughs> ah, that's a 40 gallon. Well, see, I don't want to mention anything. Well, of course, I'll talk about the eggs in just a minute. But I don't want to... Here, I'll go up to them. I put them up there now. So, um... You can see... I don't know if you noticed, but I rearranged these enclosures. So now I have 10, 10, 20, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, 40. Uh, tub. Snapping turtle. Um... But... Yeah, so I'm concerned about the eggs. I don't know what's happening. It doesn't look... Prognosis is not good. But I'm putting, I'm getting a ladder. Um, I got this from Home Depot. 
If you go to goherpin.com slash FAQ for frequently asked questions, uh, I have a link there. They're kind of pricey, about 60 bucks each, but that's not that bad. So here's the eggs up here. The setup is the same as last time you saw them if you watched the last live stream, or two live streams ago. Um, let me bring them down. Yep, not looking great. <laughs> but, yeah, I wasn't certain what was going to happen. So as you can see, ee, ooh baby. Yep, that's even worse than before. Okay, so this is weird because the only thing, I don't know. Like, no, yeah, they're pretty bad. This one's already infertile. Um, well, yeah, so uh, Snake Dude 1814 said dehydrated. So, I guess what happened is, so here's Shadow right here. Um, enclosure still needs an upgrade. Can I remove people? Yeah, I, we keep getting a lot of the spammers. I don't know how they still exist. Nope, I can't remove it. We need a moderator too. Um, so I was gone for a week, if you don't know, and then you can, <laughs> you can just block those people. The last stream there were like a dozen of those. Uh, I guess we're now popular enough for the, the classic spammers. But um, so I was gone for a week, which means she laid them sometime between 15 and 22 days ago. And so the moisture was not correct for, how, for however many days it was. It was between one and seven days of incorrect setup. So I tried to set it up correctly at first, and then I think the moisture still wasn't right for the first couple of days. And then <clears throat> after that is when I got the vermiculite. So it's definitely set up perfectly now, but I guess we're seeing the aftermath of the incorrect setup before. Well, because I wasn't here and couldn't. Yep, they're, they're, they're something. So luckily I'm not, well, I am disappointed. Luckily I'm not surprised because I wasn't expecting anything because I had no idea how long it was. <clears throat> if they were dead, they'd mold. If they were good, they'll pop up within a few days. Um, it, well, it is, it's really humid in here. It's, you can see a little bit of moisture building up on the side. Um, they were in moss originally and then I moved them to this. So I guess, I guess I have this set up correctly, but because it wasn't set up before, they started declining when I had them set up right. So <laughs> I'm gonna leave them in here just cause why not? I actually saw people, they had eggs like this and they still hatch somehow. So just in case I'm, I'm gonna keep them, but it is sort of pretty disappointing. So <laughs> sorry about that, but um, it does encourage me to breed stuff. So either way, I definitely would like to end up breeding things. Um, how long have they been in that new setup? Um, i trying to think how long it's been. Well, <clears throat> it was in my little insulating thingy for, I need some water, my, I'm losing my voice, but, <clears throat> wait, I'm trying to think what the date was. That was about, uh, maybe 12 days ago maybe 11 or 10 so it was about a week of up to a week of not being in that and then it oh my god there's so many spammers there's just a massive flood sorry about that um so stop spam i only i'm guessing those aren't even real people unless they just have a lot of tabs open so I'm gonna kick these, I think they're being banned, but there's, <laughs> oh, no problem, Alex, you can, he, if, I think if you click, you can click like ban or something, instead of just remove, unless it, I, I, you might already be doing that, for me it just says the messages are deleted, um, so it was sort of correct, <laughs> I don't know why we have so many spammers, I guess we're popular enough now, um, I don't think I can add new moderators here. I'm, I'm going, I, I think we have about a dozen moderators now, so there's usually about one or two each stream, but I guess I should let them know before I stream. Anyway, it was set up in here for mm, two weeks, week and a half. 
I heard that you should indirectly moisten the eggs with damp moss. Yeah, there is also moss. Vermiculite seems to be working even better than that. Um, I don't know how one should become a moderator because, yeah, that's what I get for 20k subs. Um, and not like, of course, I'm sure I can trust like 99% of you, but I don't actually know a lot of you. So I'll try and just keep my eye out for popular faces in the streams, and then once I see you in enough, I can probably mod you. How long in this little tub? Probably five, five days or so, if you're talking about the little plastic tub. Um, so, how's the bottom look? The bottom looks fine, but I'm guessing that's because all of the important stuff would be at the top. So, what are these? Um, you can watch a, a video from like two, a week ago maybe? I have a video, it has eggs in the title. But it doesn't <laughs> look great, so I guess that's the egg update for you. I'll keep them in here anyway, but yeah, like I said, I didn't have my hopes up because I didn't know what I was doing, even though I don't think I can, I don't think it's my fault. I, I wish I could be certain so I could know what to change, but I'm, I think it's just because the previous setup because they were in this enclosure for a while without anything else since I wasn't here, I think that's what ended up messing them up. They, they were actually pretty dry, so now I think the actual, like, texture is correct. So had it been this texture the whole time, and not, like, ivory feeling, I guess, or rough feeling, I think it would have been fine. <clears throat> yeah, I candled them. There were these three with embryos, and then this one without. I'm pretty sure those are dead. Yep, <laughs> pretty sure too. It is disappointing. Luckily, I wasn't purposefully um, breeding. So, yeah, let me make sure I put it in the right spot. Make sure these are right. Yep. Andrew, you missed the, um, the attack of about 30 or so <laughs> um, spammers. But anyway, so if you're just joining, you can rewind and see the eggs. Pretty disappointing, but it's because, of course, she laid them right when I wasn't here for a week. I would have figured something out um, had I known that she was preggers, but I didn't. So, here, let me move this. What have we done so far? We <laughs> tried to brush Sylvester's teeth. He came back, now he's chill. All right, let me close the window, because it's getting hot here. So I guess I might need, I need to finish brushing them sooner or later. All right, Sylvester. Um, the next things I had to do, uh, we unboxed the filter and this thing. I guess I can go ahead and set this up and just talk to chat as I do it. Is the front camera, is there a pink tint for anyone? It looks pinkish purple. That happened last time but I don't know why. Are you ever gonna own fish? I had goldfish before. Oh, it's not pinkish purple? Oh, actually, it looks more yellow now. Um, wait. Oh, I was trying to say keep checking them, candle them, and smell Oh, and check for and smell mold. Yes, it's slightly pink. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep checking them daily. Um, just in case something can happen, but we'll see. So yeah, this is another thermostat I'm getting to compare to the Zilla ones. It's almost twice as expensive. Yeah, it is almost twice as expensive. Um, it looks like it, well, the nicer thing is though is it's digital. So no approximating, assuming this is accurate, which I can test. Um, it has this little suction thingy on the actual probe, which is nice, because sometimes the probes get pushed around. Um, so yeah, this is going to be for Monty, and I can get him out. So you, And I said Monty again. I'm trying to not say his name so you don't associate it with him, since I'm still thinking about new names and waiting for any suggestions you have. This is not staying. Okay, there we go. 
The jump start's what my friend and I use to keep our leopard gecko rack heated. Well, let's hope it works. Um, is, this, is the sand boa a good, wait. Oh, is the sand boa a good snake to keep? Um, yeah, I think so. I, mine is right here. Actually, she needs more water, but water dries out really quickly. Um, she's been kind of difficult to feed recently, but I found it's much easier when I just leave the food in there. But other than that, I think they're really great. Um, the only th other downside I can think of is the fact that they stay um, hidden like all day, but they are a lot more active at night and you can take them out whenever you like. So, but I wonder if there's a hook that comes with this. There's a little spot to hook stuff, but there's no hook. That's weird. I guess I just have to lie here. And let me take Monty out. Monty balls up a lot more often than um, Sonny. He always stays in this little position. <laughs> He's still so tiny, but he is growing. Are you going to Repticon in Columbia July 8th or 9th? Um, no. That's South Carolina, right? Because that's pretty far. I was going to in Raleigh like a few days ago, right a few days from now, but there's a festival in North Carolina, so I'm going to be going to that instead. I'm going to put Monty on the table. You should name the new snake Sammy. Well, if we can embrace the meme and um, it kind of matches with Sunny. <laughs> I don't know where to put this. I'm out of hooks. Um, I might just have to do this later because I also can't reach anything. It lit up. It says it's heating. And it's on Fahrenheit. Are you going to the Panama Reptile Show in August? I don't even know where that is. Whoa. Special wants to get out the door. That scared me. Um, use a wire coat hanger. Actually, I think I have some twist ties. Oh, the one just came with it. I always, don't throw away twist ties, because they're useful. I always keep them when I get packages. Okay, here we go, this works. I'll put that on. Um, hold on, let me make sure this doesn't fall. There we go. Machi hasn't moved. Here, you can look at him instead. See how long it takes him to do something. Alright, so that's the west side of the room. And let's hook this up. So I, I can't see chat right now, so hold on just a second. The suction isn't holding. It's such a tiny suction cup, it just pops right off. That's weird. Oh, oh geez. People were complaining last time about the shaky tripod movements, which I understand, it was really annoying. But look at the suction cup, it doesn't even hold. That's like the best part. <laughs> Nope, it just pops right off. 
Is there a hole in it? <laughs> okay, no section cut. It is. And let me find this heat map. We'll just cover it like that. And get the hide. Like so. We can, oh wait, it's not plugged into the hide yet. Um, I'm in North Carolina. Yeah, I just dipped the suction cup in the water. This doesn't work. Lick the, I probably shouldn't lick the stuff that's in my reptile enclosures, but I did get it wet. And I put you back down here while I plug it in. So let's take a minute. <laughs> Okay, I guess this isn't very interesting to set up, but eh, it's plugged in now. I guess this is a little preview. Um, also, this is already in my kit, since other people said it was really good. How do I set it? Set. I guess I should read the instructions, or someone in chat can help me. Oh wait, do I hold both? No. I don't know how to do it. Okay, let me give you instructions. To just quickly set this up. It's this one. Oh, hold it for three seconds. That's what someone suggested. Hey, thanks. Who was that? John. I'll go 90. There we go. Oh, now he's making a run for it. So, this is going to be a pretty short stream because I probably also need to go in a few minutes. Um, but I think the last thing I'll do is just some quick feedings because that's what it says in the title. Usually they're about 90 minutes, but this one might be more like 45 because I don't need the instructions anymore. So yeah, this one, so far this looks cool. It is more expensive, which is a pain, but it's a lot, whoop, just went from 90.1. Oh, and you can see the heating just went off. That's pretty cool. I'll test the, uh, I'll try and hide these cores and then I'll test it out and maybe do a video comparing these and these. Who's this, this one? This is, wait, oh, that's the eggs. Okay, so I can see if the mice are thawed out. We can do some quick feedings because I doubt you want to see me set up a filter that's not very interesting. And but Montian. I feel like there there's something else I was going to talk about. I guess I should, whoop, he's falling. I guess I should talk about, I mean, write down what I want to talk about beforehand. Thermometer goes three degrees up before shutting off. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Except, see the heating light isn't turned on, just the power. But I'll watch it um, for the next few days and see how it does. Um, I was really looking at Euromastics a lot before, but I might, I'll probably still get them someday. So what else? The filter, where's the filter? Here it is. Only thing I'm concerned about is whether there's actually enough um, if the water's high enough. <laughs> See, I, well, it'll be heavier once I put the stuff in. And I guess I, well, yeah, I probably won't do this right now because um, there's a bunch of little setup things I have to do. But I'll go ahead and stick you right here and I'll get the mice to see if they're thawed out yet. So I'll be back real quick.
will take another like five minutes probably. Um, let's see what else you're talking about. Also, if you weren't here, I think I I kind of like the new look. It looks like more enclosures now. I feel, um, because originally I had ten gallon, twenty gallon, ten twenty, ten twenty, ten twenty. I think, and then that one right there. But now I have ten, 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 ten. No, ten, ten, twenty, ten, ten, twenty, and twenty, twenty. So I can reach everything really easily now. Can you handle geckos often? Uh, what species are you talking about? Because like leopard geckos and crested geckos, you can probably handle pretty often, but others probably not so much. So I'm gonna turn the water off in here. So those can finish up. And while we wait, how do you feel about axolotls? Me and Daddy in the Discord chat. Uh, maybe breeding hours and would love to ship one to you. Ooh, I know very little about them. Um, I know they look super weird and really cool. Um, but I, I need to, I would have to research them a lot, but I'll definitely look into them because they appear to be a lot more popular. Like I haven't even, I hadn't even heard of them like less than a year ago. Um, and now I see them all over the place, especially on Instagram. Would you ever keep a tegu of poison dart frogs? I thought about dart frogs. Um, but I didn't get any. I'm not sure why. Um, but a tegu, I would really like to have sometime once I have more space. Um, because I'm kind of filled right now, and there's going to be even less space soon. <laughs> what sites are good to order reptiles? That is quite the debatable question. Um, if I buy, I've been looking at, let's see how this is doing. I've been looking, wait, is Monty still in there? Okay, he is. Uh, I was looking at LLLReptile.com because they seem trustworthy um, and I've asked them a lot of questions and they can always answer for me. So I'll probably order from there. But I've been streaming for 37 minutes. I'll probably stop around 45, which is about half the length of a usual stream, but um, feeding shouldn't take too long. And we already unboxed everything. That just took a few minutes. If you didn't see, we got some cat hygiene products. <laughs> Poultry flavored toothpaste. Doesn't taste that bad, honestly. Um, not that I've tried it. And then, oh, a dual-sided toothbrush. I didn't realize there were two sides. So if you need to brush your cat's teeth or dog, you can get this. Cause I, Sylvester, I was hoping it would help him. I did it a little bit, and I was able to get two teeth. <laughs> but it was his main teeth. I've heard hor ho uh, loads of horror stories from LLL and Backwater. Um, where you said Blackwater, I guess you mean Backwater. Backwater sounds horrible. I would never order from Backwater. Underground Reptiles, I've heard way too much bad stuff. Not ordering from there. BHB Reptiles, probably not going to order from there. LLL, there's like a mixed stuff about them. Uh, yeah, Brian's the owner of BHB. Um, I'm trying, because that's why I really like um, try to adopt first. Yeah, that's true, like... Gobi, where's Gobi? Oh, Gobi, who's in there? Which, by the way, I don't know if Snake Dude's still here. I got a UVB on him. So I, he's been out a little bit, but I do like having the UVB. Um, Gobi, Franklin, who's not in there. New Ball Python, they're all from previous owners. That was sort of like adoption. So the hard thing is finding popular breeders that aren't close to mills. Mills are terrible. Big breeders are not wonderful, like LLL and BHB, but I feel like they're the most trustworthy. I, I still wouldn't... BHB has overpriced morphs and horrible husbandry. Yeah, BHB, I'm concerned about the husbandry. Like, the animals seem fine. I would avoid them. And then LLL, they seem fine. I don't like the fact that half of their animals about half of their animals are wild caught and imported. Backwater reptiles just terrible. Underground reptiles, I've heard a lot of bad stuff. So I, I guess the best thing to do, that's why I love Expo so much, because it's small breeders, like Goldie, for example. He's in his hide. Goldie was from a family breeder. Um, it was called Big Daddy Geckos. I don't know if he ships, 
but you can check out Big Daddy Geckos on Facebook, I think. And it was him and his family, and they had like maybe a dozen or two breeders, or like adult breeders, and they were selling the babies. That's how I got Goldie. He was really good. I could contact him afterwards. He would respond immediately. Um, his care was really good. He gave me a full care guide, uh, stuff like that. I'm trying to think who else. Olive, the blue tongue skink. She is from, I think it was like two or three people that owned a little reptile store in Raleigh, North Carolina. It closed down though. I guess they went out of business. Their care wasn't great, but it was still better than like the massive breeders. Yeah, so the other thing is, oh, well, we don't even speak about Petco and PetSmart. Actually, we do speak about it. I'm going to do another video on them. Uh, probably just one more. But, um, so of course there's going to be lots of good things from many of the places, like the majority of LLL and BHB and maybe even underground. Probably not backwater, though. The majority are completely fine, show up healthy. If they don't show up healthy, they can help you and do help you. But, um... There's, I don't know, it's hard to find places. I can't find any online places that I'm comfortable, 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 <laughs> comfortable ordering from because they all seem to have so many, I don't know, not so many issues, but I don't trust any of them enough, so I don't know. I'm trying to find maybe like little Facebook readers and stuff. Someone said, Jack said, I don't like BHP either. Brian should not keep massive snakes in small plastic enclosures with newspaper substrate. I understand why he does it, but it can't be good for the well-being of the animals. I think that's why I've seen a lot of people, I'm, I'm not trying to say bad stuff about them, but from what I've seen with people that have had experience with BHP, it sounds like it's somewhat close to a mill in the idea that the animals don't have much space. Even though like, let's see, um, Sunny, I am going to upgrade them. He could maybe get by in this forever. And, like, is he really going to come out often? Well, he's active at night during the day. This is all you see unless you take him out. So do they really need the space? Maybe not. But they have, I don't know, they don't have any enrichment or anything. So it's interesting. Uh, where's Franklin? Uh, so I just replaced the water in here. I still need to set up a new filter. So I let him walk around, and now he's asleep under my bed. <laughs> so I'll get him moved in a few hours probably. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'll definitely think about the axolotl, but thanks for letting me know. I had been looking at aquatic amphibians before and they seem really cool. Like I was thinking of newts, but I decided against them. And I, and I think that's when I ended up with Olive, which uh, that was of course after research and deciding. Um, can you see chat? Yeah, I'm reading chat. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to place you right here and see, whoops, just tripped on my boxes. And I'm going to see if the mice are thawed. They are indeed thawed, so let me dry them off. If you are not a fan of the snake keeping side of reptiles, I understand there's people that don't, but uh, this is completely frozen feeding. But we are going to feed now, just a heads up, which I guess you could have guessed from seeing this. These mice look the same size. One of these is supposed to be a fuzzy and one's a hopper. I can't tell the difference. I guess this is a fuzzy? I don't know. We can go ahead and feed though. They're warm. And let me see where Monty's head is. His enclosure's nice, really dark right now. Oh geez, the foot almost came off. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, you can't even see. Hold on, let me get tongs. Um, usually I can do them with hands. I need to clean this table now. But it's easier to get a shot if I um, use tongs. Do you cuss on your videos? No, I don't think I ever. Ooh, I don't think I ever have. Got to keep that ad revenue because <laughs> YouTube will destroy you. <laughs> you fell 
over. Oh, I can't get a steady shot. There we go. Oh yeah, I like these tongs. I think they're zoomed. Uh, yep, yeah, zoomed. Okay, so he's all good. Next up, we can do... So, also, I'm not going to feed Shadow, because I'm feeding her five days, or every five days. So I just fed her two days ago. Um, Sunny can be next. He's coming out right now. He always does that for some reason. He manages to come out when I just have the mice in the room. Does he somehow sense that? Because I don't know. But here's Sunny. He's a ju on jumbo mice right now. But next time I order, he'll be going to rats, hopefully. By the way, that reminds me, um, I'm gonna try and switch everyone to doobie roaches that eats him. He doesn't even see it. I know, Sunny's a lovely little noodle. Or a big noodle now. He, he doesn't even see it. There we go. You can do it, Sunny boy. Sunny is almost, ooh, in one month, he'll be turning four. What should I do for his birthday? Because <laughs> I'm trying to think if I've ever done anything in the past. What, give his food a party hat or something? People would probably not like me for doing that. And this next up, we can do Gooby. I can do a little, like, compilation of him growing or, I don't know. Boy, you are still going. It's only been 47 minutes. Kobe's enclosures. Oh, I can't get it open because it's on that. Next up is Kobe. My corn snake is lazy and doesn't even strike. He just eat, uh, eats it. She just eats it. Kobe's pretty active. And one of the most violent feeders, I guess you could say. But now that I said that, he's probably going to have like the softest bite ever. Yeah, I shouldn't speak too soon, but it looks like all that swarm of spammers are gone. Let me put you down there. <laughs> Belly flop into the water. Also, it wasn't as most violent, but that was pretty aggressive. That's the cool thing, though just about snakes in general is I can let, oh, let's see how Sandy's doing. I can let anyone handle Gooby without any concern for anything, but as soon as he knows there's food, his mood just completely changes. So it shows how much self-control they have, I guess you could say. And finally, we got the sand boa, except I'm not sure if you'll be able to see anything since I'll just stick it in there and then leave it. Don't take that out of context. Um, whoop, I'm about to drop the heat mat, or heat lamp. <laughs> There's so many, hold on, I need to put this down. So many things in the way. Okay, let me put that on Gooby. Okay, breaking everything. It didn't break. Jeez. Her enclosure is difficult to deal with. This is so loud. I hope I didn't scare too much before she won't eat. Yep, expos. I don't know what the question was, but it looks like it was where they should get something. Oh, are there any raptoxes in Canada? Was that the problem? I mean, the question. I don't know. Um, okay, let's see if we can see her in there. She usually stays at the very back, I guess because that's where the heat mat is the most. That's where the hottest part of the mat, even though I have it hooked up to a thermostat. So, let's see if we can see anything. Whoop, you can't see. Probably not. Here at all. So what I'm going to do is take the hide up. Usually what happens is when I take the hide up, she doesn't end up eating. Oh, she's completely burrowed. Um, 
and then when I put the hide back down, she'll eat after a few minutes. You can see her tail right there. Um, let me recheck to make sure I'm not missing anything important. That's a myth. What's a myth? What are you talking about? So now the goal is to find her face. The ground is moving. Oh, don't feed animals in enclosures. Yeah, that is. There she is. This mouse is way too big. I don't... I'm pretty sure I grabbed the right bag. She can probably do it. So yeah, you can see. Her little face popping out. Oh, she grabbed it. What do you know? I'm very surprised. I'm trying to stay calm so I don't scare her. Nice. And I'll leave her be. And he's ready for more. But let's see. I see you have moderators now. Yeah, I, I have about a dozen now. So usually a couple of them join. But it's been 52 minutes. Pretty, I don't know, quick stream. Let's see what everyone's doing. Gooby's getting some hydration at the same time. Sunny let go. He tends to let go a couple times and then eat it. So I'm not concerned about that. Monty got it, little ball python got it down. And Sanbo a bit it. Shadow will be, Shadow was fed, fed two days ago, and I'll feed again in three days. So other than that, we unboxed a couple things, <laughs> brushed Sylvester the cat's teeth, and answered questions, and set that thermostat up. So I think I'll go ahead and end it here, because it's already... Six o'clock, and my battery's at thirty percent. But if you have any, if you have any, oh, what about Olive? Um, I need to thaw her food out. Also, I, I was gonna feed her today. Maybe I can do that on Instagram because it's easier to do short streams there. So, yeah. And try to think if there's anything else. Okay, well, I think that's it. So thanks for joining the stream, everyone's. Bed and good to go.